All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostle, elders of great millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing his word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And the sincere shalom to the elect. Now, yeah, I want to go into this real quick because. You know, you got people like vocab and those apologetists and all of that bullshit there where they want to, you, you know, universalism. They want to add everybody into the scriptures. And no, it's not talking about a particular people. It's not made for a particular people. It's Bibles for Israel and Israelites only, okay? It's basically a document from the Most High given on to his people to show them the past, the present, and the future, Okay? Now, how you should walk, how you should live, everything is for Israel in this in these scriptures. All right? It even tells you the prophecies in the end, where Israel shall be, how they shall be ruling, how they're going to be ruling on top. All right? Our Lord and Savior, he's going to return. Everything is, is within the scriptures, man. And guess what? Like I said, it's only for Israelites. It's not for other people. All right? So going back into this, people like vocab, you know, I hate even saying his fucking name, man, but when you watch stuff like this, a series of deadly shootings involve, involve rappers, right? It's going into, um, I think this was, uh, I don't even want because you know how they do. And look, look who's, look who's up here already. You can see, you can see through it. <laughs> Well, basically, I think this was dealing with, um, yep, Psycho Bob, his mom being shot, the next rapper mom being shot. I mean, you see right here, you see the link, you could go um, check this out, okay, because I, I wanted to get on this, but you see the title right there, let me just pause it, hold up. You just, all you got to do is just copy it like that, copy it, and then type it up. I mean, that's for iPhone users, but I'm pretty sure you can do it on Android. But anyways, take a picture and look it up and listen to what they're saying, okay? But yeah, like I said, this isn't in the in the uh, Chinese community. This isn't in the uh, uh, fucking, you know, like all these other nations, man, the high mice. This, this, this ain't happening with them. You know who this is predominantly happening with? Israel. Uh, or out of Israel, Judah, Judah and Benjamin and Levi, man, that's who is predominantly happened to out of the house of Israel. But in the whole world, it's predominantly happened to Israelites. All right, bottom line, man, do things happen to these other nations? Yes, shit happens, shit pops off, but not like with us, man. Like with us, it's a damn curse. It's something that's upon us constantly. Okay. No matter what land we go to, no matter where we go, this is how Jake is, man. You know what I mean? They might, you might have one Jake come there, and then fifty Jakes come, and then two hundred Jakes, and then the next thing you know, it's a million Jakes there. Doesn't matter, man. The shit's gonna pop off. It's gonna start right back up. Even if you took guns and all that, let's say you put them in some far off place, right? And even if you took guns and all that shit, right? And you put them in that in that spot, that predicament, or whatever. They're still gonna end up being the same fucking people that they are. They're still gonna do the wickedness that they're doing, man. The curses are still gonna catch them, no matter where the fuck they are in the world. All right. God damn, man. This this one too. Not paying their workers. Ziadi, go check this one out. And this one too. This is what they were doing to us on the auction blocks. Was this happening to your people, vocab? Was this happening to... Who was this happening to in this world, man? This was happening to us, okay? White woman grabbed this man's... You know what? This is what they are checking. She had money. Maybe a widow. Point is, she had money. She want to buy her a slave. Just to fuck her. Just to work the field. I don't know. Okay? But you can obviously see where she's going. I mean, which part of the field I got to work with that? 
<laughs> she had to feel that 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 says she want that plow for fucking work. Okay? She wanna see a big strong burly black man with a as they would say BBC. That's what they're hunting after, man. You know? Who this happened to vocab? This happened to your people? No, this this happened to our people, okay? This happened to the Israelites, man. Get us straight, fuck boy. So I, 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 you know, cause you 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 vocab man, you really, you know, you you want to. Uh, I hope you. I hope you're a fucking Edomite man. I hope you're Edomite man, cause brother said way back in the day, you know, I got I got first dibs on him. <laughs> First dibs, second dibs, thirds, fourth. You're going to be passed around, man. You? You? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And Yahweh shall bring thee. And we're going to work you hard, vocab. We're going to work your Edomite ass hard, bitch. You know, make you build something up with your damn hands and then break it. Just break it back down. Hey, build it back up before sundown, eh? Oh. <laughs> if you don't build it back up, you're going to get your ass whooped. Hurry up. I know you can do it, vocab. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 28. And, hey, the Lord said, Thy mind shall meditate terror. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse uh, 68. And how shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. And Egypt is just going in a house of bondage. Okay, thou shalt, thou shalt see it no more again. And there... Ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall, really I should say, redeem you. Okay? No man shall buy you. No man shall redeem you. The only person who's coming to redeem us is who? Our Savior. Okay? Yahweh Shai. God damn. It's very easy to understood. 54. Let's go here again. Deuteronomy 28 and 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Who's that happening to? That's predominantly happened to us, Israelites, okay? You saw this man was, uh, he had no, you know, they went and popped up someone's mom, man. They didn't have no regards. They didn't have no feelings, okay? Now, if that was another nation, they would have said, nope, it was somebody's mom. I got a mom too, da 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 da, -da. Running down the list of why she shouldn't be killed. But Jake, fuck you, bitch. Give me that, bam. Your son did this, bam. You know what I mean? That's how it is in our community, all right? And it's not going to be fixed up. The only way it's going to be fixed up is with blood and with nukes. And with their at those two thirds being put to death, okay, that's how it's gonna be fixed, and they're gonna be good in the kingdom. Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and verse fifty-six: The tender and delicate woman among you, which the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her feet upon the ground. That's how these women are. You know, they think they're really high class. For delicacy and tenderness, don't even want to work, don't want to do nothing, okay? Her eyes shall be evil toward her husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter and toward the young one that cometh from beneath her feet and toward her children which she shall bear. For she shall eat them for a want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in their gates that happened before and it's gonna happen again wait 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 and see when fucking nobody has food out here wait and see when all their weave and shit is gone and you really truly see the monster when all that makeup is gone you're gonna really see the monster face okay all that shit is coming back and hey even in job do i have that up there nope i have it in job too Job chapter, what is that, 39? Yeah, right here. Job 39 and uh, 13. Givest thou godly, givest thou goodly wings unto the peacock, or wings 
and feathers onto the ostrich, which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in the dust, and forgetteth that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may break them. She hardeneth, she hardeneth, she is hardened against her young ones, as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain, without fear, because God have not, because God have deprived her of wisdom, neither have He imparted to her understanding. And this is the so-called black woman in the show. She don't care nothing about her little young ones, okay? And on to her man, too. She don't give a shit, right? So going back into this, who these curses fit, vocab? It don't seem like the so-called white man's got that problem. Or the Japanese man, okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princesses walking up walking as servants upon the earth. Who is that? That's us. We're princesses walking as servants upon the earth. And this dirty shitball, Esau Edom, is up upon that mad. And, and the Most High going to kick him off of that soon enough. Okay? Soon enough. But yeah, you know, you guys think it's a joke. Joel chapter 3 and 3. They have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for, for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. This is what they did to us, man. You know, this is the rec the records are there on what you so called white people did to us, man. You beast of the earth, man. This is the only way you niggers could survive. Because really and truly you can't really survive without the batteries of society, which is Israel. None of you nations could, man. You'd all crumble underneath your own self, man. You you need Israel. Okay? All of you. You need a righteous ruler, bitch. All of you. Because eventually what would happen? This whole earth would go to turmoil, man. The so-called white man, number one enemy, he would run it to shit. And then you got the so-called Chinese. They would do the same thing. You ever see their factories? There's certain places you can't go even breathe over there, man. Toxins and this and that. and It's crazy. I was watching something the other day, man. I was like, wow. You see this, yo? These niggas are just killing each other like crazy. You talk about Jake. You know, these guys don't got no standards, man. <coughs> <coughs> They'll sell you fucking plastic rice. Chinese are nasty, man. They're fucking disgusting, yo. Uh, anyways, verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem ye have sold unto the Grecians. They might remove them far from their borders and that's what you have done okay you uh uh took us out of place you put us in different parts of the world you know what i mean you misplaced us you displaced us okay you did all this wickedness to us man all this fucking wickedness you did to us man now you think that you're gonna get away with it no you're not okay no you're not the lord's gonna uh recompense this upon your head man you touched his apple. You touched the apple of his eye, man. That's like you going into class and your, your your teacher has a nice shiny apple there and you just went <laughs> and ate half of it and shit, dropped it on the floor. The teacher comes back and he's like, yo, who the fuck? He'd be pissed. Okay? That's how the Lord is right now. He's pissed. He's patient, but he's pissed. Revelation 18 and 13. And cinnamons and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beast and sheep and horse and chariots and slaves and souls of men. Who the hell is that? It's talking about us, oh good old America. So you did to us, okay? Slaves and souls of men. We're we're a, we're thousands of our people were uh fucking slain, okay? And where you sold us on your auction blocks. Yes, you are guilty of this, Esau. You can't run. How the hell are you going to run from this, man? You got a lot to fucking pay for, man. Um, Revelation 11 and 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry. And shall send gifts one to another. Because these two prophets tormented them 
that dwelled upon the earth. And who the hell you think was the gifts? We were those gifts, man. Okay? Cristobal Colon did that too with, with the Native Americans, brought them back and, and presented some to the, uh, I can't remember, was it king? And, and like bestowed them a, a gift, a slave? What the hell? This is, this is, this is you, Esau, Edom. You can't run. And this is us that fit these biblical curses, okay? And we can't run. So the Edomites can't run from, from prophecy and from who the Bible is saying they are. And uh, uh, Israel, we can't run from the prophecies and who they say we are, okay? We can't, we, there's no switching up, okay? It's too far in the game. <laughs> yep, lamentation. This is what you've looked for. This is what you are hot over. Okay, this is what you're so happy about. Lamentation chapter 2 and verse uh, 15. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and mash the teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we looked for. We have found. We have seen it. Okay? This is what they wanted upon us, man. The day that they swallowed us up. The day that they brought us around, down. The day that they removed us far from our borders. Okay? To take over that land. The 1948ers. Belfort uh, Declaration. Or, uh, I keep messing up the name. Belfort Act. Yeah. All these things that they did to us, man. It's right there playing upon the tables. Okay? And it's playing upon this table. Because we're reading it. And we're running. <laughs> so going back into this. And we're pronouncing this. Yep. Psalms 83. All our enemies that consulted against us, man. And First Maccabee. This says it all. First Maccabee chapter 2 and 10. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? This is us. Okay. All these nations have it on record. Moab has it on record. The Egyptians have it on record. The the El Elam, they have it on record. They call the cities. Okay. The untouchables. All these people got this on record, man. About us. Even the Hamites. We sold y'all niggas to the, to the Arabs and to the white men. <laughs> Yo, all these things are a record. And all these things, you know what too? You know what too? You know what too? Hold up. You have presidents that come out from these countries and say these things. And they're on record. They're recorded. You have people verbally saying this up into this time. Because they know, they have the records, they have the past, they know who they are, they know their people, their nation, of who they are, you know what I mean? And they will stand up boldly and say, yeah, we sold you, we don't like you people. You're not just because you're dark skin, don't mean you're the same, get out of here, we know who you are. You ran into this country, you, did, you were never born here, you never made from here, but you ran in here. We look at you as invaders, you know? This is how they talk about us, all right? And all these nations have gotten a, gotten of us, man, okay? Have gotten a hold of us, you know? But Esau, Edom, this is the difference between you and these nations. You're like the Assyrian, you're terrible. But you're even more terrible than the Assyrian. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Assyrians were terrible. Don't get me wrong. They're terrible. But, hey, is that Sargon? There was, like, couple names that would strike fear into the Israelites when they heard those names. But anyways, Ezekiel 35 and verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had come, in the time their iniquity had an end, therefore, that's, that's what I say, you went above and beyond, okay? Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, which is which he's doing now. Okay? 
all them nukes and all them things that you made and all those things that you constructed for war, they're all going to be used against you. Psalms chapter 9 tells you that. The, 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 the pit which the heathen have made, right? You, you going to fall into it. And you being the heathen, number one heathen. And blood shall pursue thee. Saith the Lord, uh, Salakia, since thou has not hated blood. Let me do this again. Therefore, as I laid, saith the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Okay? Yep. And who is he talking about? Esau, Edom. All right? So all these calamities, all this drasticness, all this shit that you have done to us, you know, the Lord said that uh, these things are going to return on your own head, man. Okay? Let's go back to that again. Deuteronomy. Was I in Deuteronomy over here? Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 64. And shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations thou shalt find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling of heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. And that's this is us, man. Come on, man. Who the hell is fearing day and night of their life, man? I just played you that shit with Psycho Bob and them niggas. You know, two thirds are like that. And even A. Hey, when we're walking on the street, we pray to help Hashem Yahushua that he keeps keeps us, okay? That he keeps us good. That no death and not, nothing strange befall us, okay? Or come on to us, right? So we still have fear that these things can linger and fall upon us, all right? So we're on the curses, man. And who the, who the fuck did he, who the fuck did those three, man, nah, are you crazy vocab? Among these nations, thou shalt find no ease. We go around all these nations, there's no ease for us, man. There goes the niggers again. That's all we hear. There goes those niggers again. You know they want to say Israelites. But that'd be too uh, out in the open. They're, they'd rather say niggers, right? There goes those niggers again. Yup, there they are again. See them? Right? And, and our life hanging down everywhere we at, man. Okay, we were scared from one end to the other. So ain't no excuses, vocab. You want to talk that shit, go ahead and talk that shit, but you can't line it up with the scriptures. We can line everything up that we're saying because guess what? It's coming from the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. It's not coming out of our own mouth. It's not coming from vainness. It's coming from truth, reality. Okay? Prophecy. You ever heard of that? Rome, uh... Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and faith of the saints. Okay? That's it. It's done. We fit those biblical curses. End the story. I mean, even, you know, like, damn, we're still going through what we got to go through. If a man leave from Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad, Guyana, Miami, uh, 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 New York, and he go to Germany, South Africa, China, wherever it may be, he's going to be attacked. He's going to be called nigger. He's going to be called all the same shit he's being called here. He's going to be called there. I know you, you might see some bloggers talk about, no, oh, I don't feel no racism here. Because you're not going in the right parts. Go ahead and roam the whole place freely. Stop listening to those people that tell you, hey, don't go over there, you know. They don't really like black people too much. But you won't talk about that. I've seen people talk about in Japan, 
I haven't felt like that in this place. I haven't heard that. Bullshit. Go to the right place, man. Go to the right fucking place and you're going to see. You're going to meet the right fuckers. And they're going to tell you how they feel about you. Okay? Oh, 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 oh. Try to marry one of their daughters. Try to marry one of their daughters and see what happens. See, 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 see how much violence gets uh, uh, brought up. Get out of here, man. These biblical curses fit us. Bottom line, period, point blank. All right? And with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakudash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. I hope you are edified. Lord willing, to the next time. Matthew chapter 24 and 13 to you all. Wah, Abad Babal. Shalom, Akim. Shalom.